We're just about ready to go. 1,600 meters, gates are open, and they are dispatched. Volta Fuss, a bit slow to begin. Touched by stars, and Volta Fuss was at the tail end of the field in the early stages. Diesel Shadow, the white face, the blue and white colors towards the center of the track, is the early leader from Pomo Clapper. Right up there is Pendergrass on the stand side of the track. The red, yellow and black colours is Brotherhood of Magic from No Place Like Home, Insightful and Top Man. Then touched by Stars, about four and a half lengths off the leader with Uncle Lucky and Volta Fuss is at the rear, racing about six, seven lengths off them on the stand side of the track. They're coming middle outside here. Brotherhood of Magic goes up there in the early stages and now leads with Diesel Shadow down the centre. Pendergrass, the orange colours. No Place Like Home's got the cheek pieces on and only two and a half lengths off the leader. Pomo Clapper seems to have already come under a ride down towards the inside. Insightful Top Man is down the centre, the yellow body. That race has fallen in off them with Touched by Stars, Uncle Lucky and Volta Fast. 600 metres to go. It's Brotherhood of Magic and Diesel Shadow. They're still cutting out the pace with no place like home. Moving to within a length of the leaders now. Further back to Insightful. Then came Touched by Stars and Top Man, Volta Fast, Pomo Clapper and Pendergrass have gone out the back door. Leading into the final 300 metres, no place like home has come come through to touch off uh, Brotherhood of Magic at this stage. Down the centre, Diesel Shadow is still right in contention to Top Man's gone to the far side. Diesel Shadow is keeping rolling with no place like home. Coming to take it on, Top Man is steadily making up ground down the inside. On the outside, no place like home, but Top Man is coming home strongly and Top Man I think's going to get up for Peter Moore. Top Man has beaten no place like home, Diesel Shadow and Brotherhood of Magic. Well, good finish uh, in the latter stages here. Look at Top Man steadily making up ground down the centre. This is a double for Sean O'Patterson. Unbelievable stuff. Sean Patterson and uh, Bridget Steidoff. A double for them on the day. And Top Man touches the fancied runners off here. Second, no place like home. Third will go to Diesel Shadow. Cracking effort. And fourth to Brotherhood of Magic. Well done to the son of Louis the King. He was bred by Dr... Ian Haynes, he's out of the sports world mayor, Miss Levita. See, she won a few, but they were from 2000 upwards, I think I remember um, her in her racing career. And well done to Peter Moore. He's uh, spent a lot of money on horses. He's a racing man. He's got racing flowing through his veins. And well done to you, Peter. I know you'll be watching this. PJ Moore, the winning owner. So top man is the winner of race number five. Bridget Stardoff's got herself a double today. Asandiwe Mgudwa is on the board. And the colours of Peter Moore, the son of Louis the King, turns five in a week from now. And he's won on debut over 1,600 metres down the Var Mile straight. That is hard to do. Uh, Atsandiwe, I was actually out of interest because we Sean had a winner earlier on. Watching Top Man, and at about the 600, I thought it was going to be a nice run, but he's not going to win. 200 metres out of setting Brandon. Look at this. I mean, what a, what a lovely finish he produced today. Yes, he did. You know, um, I had to wake him up a little bit going down to the start. You know, he was looking at everything. At everything but I must say, he's, he's a beautiful horse to ride. I mean, just to even look at as well, he's really he's a, he's a, he's a looker. Mm. And, um, yeah, he's produced a good finish. I think the key with him, he was always in a good rhythm in the race, and that won him. Now, I know that you haven't been coming to the Vol all that much, but it's it's certainly an idea of mine that it's so hard to make your debut over 1,600 metres down the Vol straight, never mind if you're turning five and you're more mature than some of the others around you. There's a lot to take from this one. Do you believe that? Yeah, 100%. I mean, it was his first run. It can only bring him on from me. I mean, when Sean was speaking to me in the ring, he said that he didn't expect much of him. He just wanted to see what he can do. And um, obviously, I think he's not he's not a track horse. So this will definitely bring him on. And uh, yeah, well done to Sean Patterson and his old team, to Mr. Stadolf, Mr. Moore. Thank you for the opportunity. Talk about a beautiful looker. How many horses have you ridden this big this season? Sure. Quite a few, eh? Quite a few. Yeah. But yeah, you know, it's been a wonderful season. And uh, it's lovely to come up here and ride a winner as well. And you know, to Sporting Post for their support also. Thank you. I'm sure we'll see more of you. Well done, Atsandiwe. Thank you very much. That's indeed I'm good with the winning jockey. That's 72 on the side of the cap, by the way, from 14 last season. Sean Patterson doing the job for Bridget Stardoff. Well, you weren't joking when you said he's a big boy. Um, were you joking then when you said we're just going to look to see how he goes? Because that was actually a brilliant win. That was very nice. I was, uh, he has, um, you know, he's a big boy. And at track, I don't really ride him because he's a lacquer ride. He's a nice big boy. He goes about his business quietly. He's been to starting still seven times because he keeps growing. And we had to keep taking him back because he just doesn't stop growing. But well done to Mr. Moore. Well done to Bridget, to my mom. My mom wanted him 
through and through. And the, the last one she did that was a silk garden. She's won. So it's nice to have Mr. Moore's uh, colours in our yard and nice to win first time out. Maybe there's some more to come from him. On the way to the fall, Nico was telling me about the whole history of Peter Moore and, and how he's built himself in Zimbabwe and, and become the name that he is. And, uh, well, again, a good association with Bridget start off even in Zimbabwe, here as well with his team, with Adrian. So a real feather in your cap that you can deliver for him on debut. Well, but it is, and in a sense, the association Miss Moore had with my mum and dad, with match winner and, and that. So and it's it's a fairy tale ending, you know, but this is it's a, it's a protected fairy tale beginning, you know, because it's his first run. Everyone thinks, what am I doing over six? 1,600 metres, but, you know, I'm quiet. It takes a lot to impress me. I'm impressed. And so, thank you. Well done, Sean. So, we uh, don't go too far away. Joe is throwing books at everybody, but 15,000 around going the way of Peter Murphy being a Racehorse Owners Association member. So, very well done to Peter. There's some more uh, going their way. Some more money picked up by Peter Moore and team, and also the 1500. Rashid again. Rashid, he's got two also, they're both winners. Both winners, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so well done to Rashid, that's the second uh, time that he's picked up, so that's three grand, 1500 times two. Um, so five top man wins, as far as the pick six is concerned, the first race runner qualifies for the pick six, so if you had number eight, no place like home in your play, you're still love in the pick six.